Without villains, we would have no heroes in June's journey. Inspired by our latest Hooray for Hollywood decoration set, here's our Fab Five villains that we love to hate. Don't let the baby face fool you. This handsome chap is pure evil. At number five, it's Bonfils. This Parisian playboy takes the phrase snitches get stitches seriously. Well, in his case, snitches get a boxing glove full of hardened plaster, but that doesn't sound as nice. Bonfils likes to make sure the boxing matches go his way, and he's willing to do some pretty awful things to make sure they do. As if that smug look wasn't annoying enough. Luckily, our intrepid heroines never use kid gloves when it comes to crime. That face won't be so cute after a few years in the slammer. From the snowy mountaintops of Iceland, it's Zipko at number four. Like any good villain, this guy has one heck of a backstory. Zipko, the white cat Markovic, grew up despising the rich ruling classes, and it led him down a dark path of arms stealing and guerrilla warfare. Scary guy, you don't get scars like that from playing nice. And if you had any doubts that Zipko wasn't the baddest baddie in town, just check out his secret lair inside a volcano. At least he doesn't have to pay for heating that place. And a pet tiger? No thanks, Tiger King. There's only one thing in his way. Remember kids, war crimes and crossing June never pays. Number three is a woman who's never met an evil scheme or a giant hat she can resist. It's Arabella Peel. This English aristocrat might have inherited her money from her husband, but why stop there when you can also turn a pretty profit by recklessly mining and endangering hundreds of lives? We must admit though, Arabella's shimmering, shining schemes to get diamonds are almost as much fun as her wardrobe. But if you think June's machinations are going to keep a good villain down, just wait until you hear about her dastardly deeds in Volume 3. Sit up straight and smooth out your dress, detective. For our number two slot, there's no one more terrifying than the prim Nurse Pratchett. This villain is sure to strike fear in the heart of anyone who has even entered a hospital. Her uniform is crisp and spotless, but her bedside manner? Non-existent. Order must be maintained and patients feeling unwell does not fit into her treatment plan. It's not just her unwillingness to do whatever it takes to heal a patient, it's her absolute control over June that really makes our teeth grind. We do it quietly though, so as to not draw Nurse Pratchett's attention. We don't want to be put on bedpan duty. If the notorious jewel thief Irene Parker is after you, you must have done something wrong. At number one, it's none other than the Marquess herself. The Marquess and Irene have a thieving background in common, but that was just the beginning for this ne'er-do-well. Blackmail and spying, all while looking this fabulous, she's a supervillain for sure. Toppling governments and selling secrets, not to mention locking June and Irene in a vault? It's just a normal day for this busy lady. Being wicked must be exhausting. She's driven and she doesn't let anything stop her. Friend or foe. Her allegiances shift as quickly as the wind through her fashionable cape, so don't turn your back on this master thief. You might just find your Fabergé egg missing.